Hey, hey, hey there, everybody. Zelda Savior here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we ventured down to the perplexing pool for the very first time and met Yellow Pikmin. These high flying Pikmin will surely add a shock to our step for the rest of our adventure. But in this episode, we are actually going to go back to the Awakening Wood. Now, many of you may be asking yourselves, why, why are we going back to the Awakening Wood? Why, 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 why are we doing that? Well, many of you probably do remember a couple episodes ago, we went to the Awakening Wood and we got very little accomplished. We gathered three above ground treasures, one of them being the sphere chart allowing us to get to the perplexing pool. But now that we have Yellow Pikmin, the electric resistant Pikmin with us, we can now access all those areas that we weren't able to access before, all hidden through uh, what are known as the electric gates. We'll get to one of those very shortly. But, first priority of the day, something I need to actually do very quickly. I need to actually do this with much speed and much precision. We need to gather yellow numbers. We need to increase our yellow numbers rather rapidly, if I do say so myself. Actually, here's what we're gonna, we're gonna We're gonna divvy up this work. Louis, take the purp- or Olimar, take the purples and kill everything. Louis, take the yellows and gather our numbers. Multitasking for the win. Get work done, son. Alrighty. But yes, that is essentially going to be our plan for right now. We're going to gather our uh, yellow numbers, and then we are going to divide and conquer, and hopefully uh, get some resources later in the area that will help us further our advancement in the world of the pig. Ah, oh, Louis. Give me that. 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 And give me that. Oh, Louis. Louis, my boy, you're making me so happy. You're doing your captain proud. Sometimes I'm just so proud of Louie. He does so gee, sometimes he just does such good work. Sometimes he's a he's a complete schmuck. And I can't stand him. Sometimes he just can't 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 tell a rat from a left a, a Pikmin from a ball boy. And they don't even look the same. I mean They're like dog things. Pikmin look like carrots. I don't I, sometimes I don't know what's going on in that boy's head. Sometimes I just, I just don't know what's going on in that boy's head. Captain Olimar, are you talking about me again? No, Louie. No. I would never think it. I would never think about sullying your good name. Really? One nectar on that entire set of grass? Well, whatever. We'll take what we can get. Alrighty. Now, with our massive armada of yellows, we must venture out. And we might- I need- I actually need to do this pretty quickly, cause this could, um... This could be the make or break for how well this day goes, friends. This could be a make, or this could be a break. There is yet to be determined! Nice, we destroyed the living crap out of the thing. Holy Christ. Anyway. Firstly, this is how we're gonna do things. Louie. Actually, you know, Louie, take the purples. Take the purples, Louie. Olimar. Take the yellows and throw. How many do I? How many yellows do we even have? We have 46. Throw. All right. Throw all but 15 of the yellows. Trust me, guys. Trust me, guys. I got a plan. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, that'll. That'll. That'll work. That'll work. All right. And leave those with Louis. And all of them. Are. We're gonna go this way. Run through the water. Avoid this evil thing. We're gonna kill it, we're gonna kill it, we're gonna kill it! Come on, just come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Spit that bitch out. Yeah, you, you tell. Alrighty. <gasps> what is this? <gasps> oh, look at him run. Look at him run and murder things. They're so cute. Look there! Wild blue Pikmin are chasing prey near the water's edge. Perhaps by observing these wild specimens, we can understand more about their true nature. Sir, ding! I apologize. I was momentarily entranced by them. Now back to work! Toil for the labor and profit of your company, Olimar. Yes, but yes, let's first let's get knocked over, but firstly, let's destroy this electric barrier, because that's very important. But 
while Olimar is destroying the electric barrier, Louis got his own little task he needs to deal with. Firstly, actually, I forgot about this completely. Firstly, let us get this treasure up here, because now that we have yellow Pikmin, we can throw Pikmin up ridiculously high and they can gather that treasure. But while they're doing that, I got something I need the rest of these Pikmin to take care of. We, ooh, we are going to, yes, throw them up here. Go, go, my friends, go! Four, it makes it a lot easier to get them later, because as you remember, there was that little area back there where that one set of blueberries was, oh, ah, god dang it. Ugh, I gotta wait for these guys to move their slow, ah, screw it, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna get the yellow Pikmin that I have over there to work. I gotta make sure I do this quickly, because I practiced run this the other day, and it did not go as planned. Oh, Christ almighty, I forgot. Ah! <laughs> Ah, noises. Come here, you guys. Oh. oh, God, Christ almighty. What am I doing? See, this is the day. This this is, this is could be potentially bad episode number two. I'm hoping it's not, but it could potentially be. It has potential. It has potential to fail. Alrighty. Up, 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 up. And one, two. Nope. Yes, they made it back. Huzzah. What do we have here? Carmex for cold sores. Healing cask. Yes, many of you are familiar with Carmex. Uh, I actually have containers of Carmex in myself. I use them for, uh, I guess you could say, uh, like chapstick, essentially, for uh, dry lips during the winter. So useful! But anyway, we are going to get these slaves to work, destroying this wall. Oh! Oh, and that sound is very good! That means... What are you... God dang it, Louie and Olimar cannot freaking... Alrighty. Uh, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to leave these guys here. Louis is going to have to move his ass around the Awakening Wood like double time right now to make sure we get everything done. Today's a busy day, my friends, but more importantly... Oh, he's underwater. Oh, he's like a seaweed. Look at him all distorted. At last, you've encountered them. They seem to have gill-like ducks on their cheeks. They must be blue Pikmin, like the other types they look at to you for direction. While they are indeed surviving naturally, they still seem to s uh, long for a valiant leader. Well, I don't think they could have found a better leader. Meet blue Pikmin. Yes, after long last, we have become reunited with all types of Pikmin. Red, yellow, blue, and the newly introduced red, or sorry, newly introduced white and purple. Yes, Blue Pikmin, um, basic Blue Pikmin information. Blue Pikmin are, unfortunately, Blue Pikmin are probably one of the, I guess, I wouldn't say most not useful Pikmin, but they don't have very many advantages going for them. They have the standard rate attack for uh, Pikmin, about, if 1.0 is the standard rate, that's about what they got. Um, aside from that, they really, the only other thing they have going for them, obviously, is that they're the only Pikmin that can survive water, much like how fire, red Pikmin are fire resistant, and yellow Pikmin are immune to electricity. Blue Pikmin are the only Pikmin that can survive in the water, and that'll come very handy for us while in the, in the perplexing pool, because obviously you can see there was an absurd amount of water in that area. But for right now, I am gonna just lollygag around trying to get these Pikmin numbers up. But more importantly, Louie needs to move his ass, because he has way too much crap he needs to take care of right now. Most of that being getting these yellow Pikmin to work, destroying that electric gate because behind the electric gate is another dungeon and I would really like to start that dungeon before this day is over because that would make me very happy it would also make me feel like I actually did something today and not just dick around and did absolutely nothing all right now Louie Louie you gotta move your ass boy you gotta move it move it I like to move it move it he likes to move it move it Louie likes to move it move it Pikmin move it they like to move it, move it. We like to move it, move it. The Brewing Sub, uh, Sands, whatever. I, don't even, I still don't remember your name because it's weird and obscure. Likes to move it, move it. We all like to move it. Louie likes to move it, move it. Louie likes to move it, move it. I don't like to move it, move it. I'm not saying anything useful. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby, come on, baby, baby. You know I want you, you know I need you I'm making up words to a song that doesn't exist 
Yes. Sorry, this is not eventful. This is the this is like the one episode that I was trying to plan very well, but um, I I don't think I did a very good job of it. So I'm really making sure that I don't screw anything up. But once we get inside the dungeon, oh oh boy, you bet you bet that's gonna be some good stuff right there. Alrighty, new Pikmin. Ah, your numbers are satisfactory. I don't really care much for the um. Those, those enemies, in case you're wondering what those um, enemies are, they're actually called Wogpoles. They're actually the, um, the uh, baby state of the uh, Wally Wog. <laughs> so, um, they're harmless, they can't hurt us in any way, but they're very fast in the water and are very annoying. But we're going to forget those things exist, and we're just going to move on forward forgetting they exist, much like we would any other annoying, troublesome enemy. Louie, come! We have things to do, places to be, people to go, things to do. No, actually, no, Louis, Louis, you stay here. No, 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 Louis, you come with me. Ah, see, guys, I'm, I'm so scatterbrained. I have no idea what's going on. Ah! But I know what's going on now. Actually, things are going pretty well, I'd say. I think we're going to be able to get enough progress done to actually make it to what I wanted to be done today. So, kudos for us. But firstly, we must bring this Pikmin here and destroy this rock. Louis, you stay in the water and monitor them. I have to gather our Pikmin numbers to venture into this dungeon. Because that is the most important meal of the day. Serving it up, Louie's way, pop! Alright, Louie. Let me have you go check on... How you doing, Blue Pikmin? How you doing? How you doing? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, okay. For a second I thought they were gonna go that way and get eaten by the burrowing, uh... Whatever the heck that thing's name is. Woohoo! We drained the water! Fantastic! Jubilation for all to be had! Now, Pikmin, with your brains of small knowledge and your hearts of braveness, destroy that wall, I beckon thee! I will also bring three of your stronger brethren to aid you in this endeavor! Now! Work faster! I'll be back! Louis, no! Louis, what are you doing? You move it! Dang it! Forgot, Louis is the more com Louis is the less competent, but I feel like he just can't ever do anything right. No, I forgot. I can't do anything right. Ah! Okay, pretty much, I am solely relying on the fact that these Pikmin can work a little faster. Actually, no, Yellow Pikmin, I beckon thee. Come, destroy this wall with your brothers. And yes, Pikmin are all male, even though the pink for our white Pikmin have pink flowers, they are still men. Pink is a manly color. It's very manly. It's the most of manliest color ever. Louis, what are you saying? What are you saying, Louis? What are you saying? Uh, I don't know, Captain Lamar. I just, uh, just thought that would be kind of funny. Louis, that wasn't funny. That wasn't funny at all. Now, go to your room. Decorative goo! As you can see, we have Mario Paints paint. Oh, goodness. All the wonderful product placement of Nintendo. Alrighty. Now that that is done, we have more important matters to attend to, Blue Pikmin. Such as this! Oh! Jubilation! Alrighty. Oh! Oh, the timing! The timing! The timing! It is beautiful! Alrighty. Now. Now. Now, now. <laughs> I'm missing a Pikmin. I am missing a Pikmin. I am missing a Pikmin. I am missing a Pikmin. <gasps> you fiend! Blue Pikmin, I'm sorry, but you, my friend, are going to die. I'm leaving that. No, no, no. I'm not leaving that Pikmin behind. No Pikmin gets left behind, friends. No Pikmin left behind. Um, actually, he might get left behind. Because I don't want to run back and get him. And does that make me a bad person? Does that make me a bad person? I don't care. He will not count towards the Pikmin total. He is... He was a casualty of war. He's, he, he was a prisoner of war. POW, prisoner of war. The, um... The, the uh, the wog poles. Oh god, I remember how difficult this was. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run for it. They're all gonna get left behind. And then we're going to find another steaming, glowing pile of poop! What is this? 
reached, though you haven't last reached a higher ground. Congratulations on order. Wait, what is this? My seismic sensors are picking up tremors deep below. What force is at work in the depths of the planet? I don't know. I'm going to and check it out. Meet. Or not meat. Here we have the Borbalax Kingdom. We have fire and electricity hazards inside. Enter this hole with your Pikmin squad. Challenge accepted. Bring it, sir. And for the first time ever, we're entering a dungeon with a full Pikmin squad, as in having all five Pikmin colors with us. This is a momentous occasion. So be sure to watch the entirety of the intro cutscene. And look at all the colors, they're so pretty. Welcome to floor one of the Barbalax Kingdom. Many introductions are in order. Look at all these things. Look at all these new and mysterious things. Firstly, let's introduce the lesser of two evils. This, much like the ivory and uh, violet candy pop buds, I believe they are called crimson candy pop buds. And as you could probably guess, you throw one of those uh, Pikmin into that thing and it makes a red Pikmin. In all honesty, really useless. I really don't ever plan on using that ever. I'm I'm sorry. I just don't see the point in it. I I don't I don't see the point. And why would you need more red Pikmin? Maybe with blues, maybe with yellows, never with reds. Anyway, here brand new enemy. I believe this is the um the orange ball orb, like the uh, the dwarf orange ball orb exactly. Um. They're pretty much similar to regular uh, dwarf ball orbs. I believe they have a larger radius at which they will detect your presence, but um, nonetheless, they are not hard to kill at all. So uh, that's, yeah, that's those things. We kill them pretty easily. But, ah, here, this, this guy is a little bugger right here. This is the orange ball orb, the non-dwarf version. These guys are tricky. From that angle, you can't tell. From this angle, you can. See how his eyes are a little bit of a jar? Orange ball warbs are pretty light sleepers. Now, this could be risky. Let's... Okay, okay, good. Because that was risky. We could have woken that guy up. Because as you can see, he's a light sleeper, meaning he will be awoken easier by our presence. So as we approach him... See, he woke up pretty quickly. Ugh, you gotta watch out with those guys. He, They'll get you sometimes. If you're not weary, they'll get you. But... Unfortunately for them, they're still not all that hard to kill, so we will- Oh! Booyah, baby! Alrighty! Alrighty, let's get that treasure! Come here, sucker! Oh, 20! Come on! Come on! Come on! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't say you're doing me. <laughs> what are you doing to your mother? Guys. Well, more importantly, Crystal Clover. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. Alrighty. That's it for treasures, so, uh, let's move on down to the next floor. Moving on down to the next floor. Alrighty, my friends, we shall venture forth and investigate the rest of this dungeon in the next episode. Getting low on time, and I think I'm going to need to cut it here. Alrighty, guys, in the next episode of Let's Play Pikmin 2, we shall venture further into the Ball Black's kingdom and meet all of the evil, vile creatures that are dwelling deep beneath this surface. And I shall close the video with this epic voice. And with that, I will see you all in the next episode. I hope you're all having a wonderful day.